welcome to Tragic Comica, you all. Uh, this is actually the oldest workshop and mask shop still in operation in Venice. This was opened in 1978 by my father. It was a very um, culturally rich time at the, the, end, the end of the 70s, beginning of the 80s, because carnival is a very ancient tradition here in Venice but it was a tradition that disappeared uh, with the came of Napoleon, with the Industrial Revolution, then with the two world wars, it never, it never uh, happened again. Masks disappeared completely from Venice, whereas in the 80s a group of students, choreographers, scenographers, including my father, you know, just started uh, retaking the tradition, looking at the books, what, what was the mask, how it was made, and they started doing them again, creating them again. And slowly and slowly it became what, what we know nowadays in which Carnival happened to be so important again for, for the city. Carnival, it changed a lot throughout the years. In the 18th century, for example, it was a moment in which the government did a step behind and let the population rule for a certain uh, uh, period. So it, it was really a mixing of social classes, genders, everything was so... Uh, there, there were no barriers, let's say, at certain, that's why it was so free and liberating as well as an experience. The mask, apart from, from a second skin, apart from, from a decoration that some people might intend it this way, it's really, it's really a concept. Uh, it's very interesting to notice how persona, person, was the actual uh, name uh, for a mask in Latin. And the same goes for Greek, prosopon. Uh, it was the name of a mask and then it became the translation of face. It's really difficult to see the distinction between mask that we usually intend as something fake, you know? To, put, to have a mask, it's not something seen as, as, as positive because it means that you're not showing you your real your real personality, your real identity. Uh, Oscar Wilde said, give me a mask and I will tell you the truth. And this is so connected also with the carnival, as, as we were saying before. Put a mask to do what we wanted in order to reveal our very true uh, desires and instincts. So what is a mask? Is it a cover of your identity, of your desires, or is it just a way, a tool in order to fully uh, accomplish yourself and, and what you want to do. We do classes as well, we do mass decoration workshop to try to spread a bit the, this tradition to other people, uh, shorter decoration workshops or longer mask making processes that could last uh, one week. We have many uh, interns coming from Arctic, uh, art schools uh, nearby we don't want to keep everything for ourselves, we want to really to, to share this tradition because we're not, we're not many. We're, it, there's just, you, you see masks everywhere in Venice, but most of them are imported plastic and it's just a few of us that actually still create masks from the beginning to the end with the, with the original uh, processes. <music> Uh, and this is my workshop. Welcome to Kamakana, uh, who, which is one of the best known mask making workshops uh, here in Venice, Italy. Masks were, were used in Venice uh, since the Middle Age, so it's almost 1000 years uh, of history in which Venice and, and the, the mask and the use of masks are, are bounded together. People used to, to wear masks during carnival but also uh, for in other periods of the year uh, and this was a, like a common tradition to wear a mask a certain kind kind of mask for more than six months a year it was a way to uh, save people privacy in a very crowded city as it was venice at that time uh, in which everybody knew each other the idea of privacy was not really uh, a concept that back then the wearing a mask people were much more free to behave in a in a yeah in a natural way and that was also important for commoners that could address directly um, yeah people that were higher in the social hierarchy 
in a much freer way and that means that the mask wears like a social equalizer in that context. So we make everything by hand, strictly by hand and we follow the old traditions of the ancient mask makers here in Venice. What we do is making masks out of paper, so paper mache. We are always happy to uh, share with, with customers and visitors uh, what we know about the Venetian tradition of mask making. We are always willing to, to show how we make everything because we want to show that everything is made by hand and that's important to, to distinguish what is original from what is imported and created somewhere else. And also we, we are able to, to give courses in which we, we teach how to decorate a mask or even to make a mask from scratch.